Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll explain time scaling property of Fourier transform. And to explain time scaling property, these are my agendas where first I'll explain you statement of time scaling property. Then we will see proof of time scaling property. And then at the end, I'll explain you examples which will give you idea about how to apply time scaling properties to get Fourier transform of functions. So let us begin this with statement. Now see if you have Fourier transform of signal xt by x of omega then as per time scaling property We can say we need to scale time by factor a so x of a t Fourier transform that will change to 1 by mode of a into x of omega by a. So this is what time scaling property if you scale time by x of a t in that case Fourier transform of this will be 1 by mode of a into x of omega by a. So let us prove this property first and then we will see some examples based on it. So to prove this property first I will be considering Fourier transform of x of omega x of t that is x of omega so x of omega that is Fourier transform of x of t and the basic formula is minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now I will calculate Fourier transform of x of a t. So Fourier transform of x of a t so that is integration from minus infinite to infinite x of a t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now if I consider a t is equals to some variable then I can be able to simplify this in this form. So let us consider let us consider a t is equals to some variable. So if I say a t is equals to y then we can say t is equals to y by a and you can say dt is equals to dy by a. So if you have a t is equals to y then t is equals to y by a and dt is equals to dy by a and limits will not change limits will be from minus infinite to infinite so if you apply these limits here and this y inside of this formula then Fourier transform of x of a t that will be integration from minus infinite to infinite x of y into e to the power minus j omega instead of t now I need to write y by a and instead of dt I need to write dy by a and as this is there in terms of differential part I need to say mode of a over here so one can see this is 1 by a is constant take it outside minus infinite to infinite x of y into e to the power now see e to the power j omega by a into y dy so this is what this term so here one thing is clearly understandable this constant is 1 by a right now here frequency 
if you observe frequency component then here frequency for Fourier transform x of omega it is e to the power j omega t while over here it is omega by a so we can say now this term is x of omega by a that is what this term about so here we have proved Fourier transform of time scaled version of signal x of a t it will be 1 by a Fourier transform of x of omega by a so this is what this time scaling property now let us have some examples so it will be more clear how to solve Fourier transform using time scaling property so I'll consider first example find Fourier transform of del of 2t now see we already know del of t Fourier transform that is 1 so as per this time scaling property del of 2t Fourier transform we should be having 1 by 2 mode of 2 into del of omega by a so here omega see del of t is 1 right so x of t by 2 that is even 1 so one can say del of omega that is even 1 so I will be placing this is what into 1 so we can say this is 1 by 2 so this is how we can have Fourier transform of del of 2t so one should remember this basic property let us have one more case so it will be more clear see second example our question is find Fourier transform of signum function 2t so now this will gives you an idea about how to apply again this property which is time scaling property so we know signum function Fourier transform that is 2 by j omega so now if you calculate it for signum function of a t then that has to be Fourier transform of 1 by a into this is what x of omega so I can say x of omega by a so here a in this case is 2 so 1 by 2 into now x of omega that is this so 2 divided by j and instead of omega by a here it has to be omega by 2 so if you calculate this this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so this 2 will go in numerator so we can say this will be 2 divided by j omega so signum functions time scaling property will be that only so we can say this is what signum function of time t and if you do it for a time 2t it will be 2 by j omega only so signum functions Fourier transform is not changing even though you scale it by time as it is symmetric with respect to t is equals to 0 you will be finding signum function Fourier transform will not change why it will not change the reason is signum function is symmetric with respect to t is equals to 0 that's why so that is what even one can understand based on Fourier transform of that and time scale Fourier transform of that so sometimes in gate examination some statement type of questions are coming so at that time even you should be ready for this type of question 
I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future I will make videos which will solve your queries. Thank you so much.